Next week, same time? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. Thank yourself. It's You're weird, because, like, Jason was actually going somewhere. And then Jason, wait. it all fell down. So who got in his head and messed him up now? Matthew, I think we know who. No, I know, but I mean, like... <laughs> Who got to him first? Yeah, that's the question. Did he get to him right away? Or was he introduced to him by accident or something like that? I don't know. This is Bruce just with his family tracker. <laughs> Built in. Two of them. <laughs> Dad going to pick him up after school. After the extracurricular activities. Yeah. Oh, wow. The theater. Hmm. Bro, is that the hallway that his parents got shot in? I wonder. Maybe the hallway, though. Passageway or whatever the heck. I don't know. You taking Rose? No, Molly. Molly. Yeah, is that the is that the alleyway that his parents got shot at? Maybe. Remember he slept at like a performance area? Mm -hmm. I think that was in a school, though, wasn't it? This is where your parents died. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I don't want you to be Robin. Huh? You talked to Leslie. No, I didn't speak to her. This is my decision alone. You always thought I was weak. Oh. You never did this to Dick. I've learned from you my and Dick mistakes. are different. Oh, so I'm a fucking mistake now? No, his mistake you with Dick. Everything. And no matter what he does, you keep on giving him more and more. And that is true too. Though. Yeah. Why don't you do that with me? That's. I mean, that's kind of true. It's me. fair point. Please don't give up on me, Bruce. Oh. Oh, Jason's actually hurting that. my heart right now. Away from God. So this is what happens that night. This is the night of, I think. I think so. It might not be. It might not be this night, but it might be. Around here, around here, because yeah. he started studying the chemistry stuff. Mm -hmm. ah, dang! So Bruce was actually trying to retire him as Robin and try to thing. Yeah. So I feel like Bruce is like the best and worst dad at the same time. Well, he was trying to change. He was. Word association. Liar. This is scary. Listen, where are you? Liar. I really don't think she told. To be honest. I don't think she did, but who did he call? Oh no, Arkham. Well, he's going into Arkham, yep. I just had to have that picture up. Otherwise, he wouldn't have seen that and mm -hmm. gone there. Yes, that was my former life. I'm a good citizen now. <laughs> yeah, okay. In fact, I'm on the Gotham PD payroll. Obviously, you put two and two together at that point. Obviously. It's not dumb. Huh? To the contrary. What is uh, our young Robin looking for? I want to reverse engineer your fear gas to create an antidote to fear. Mm. Assuming it's possible. Ooh. Betrayal. Mm. More like uh, doing to others. Salient to ephemeral. A granular look at his operations. Dang. Things that only you would know. And one more thing. I want out of this place. I just want the formula. Mm-hmm. Get a pencil. That explains that. Yeah. Shower runs cold. We ain't gonna get fixed soon, so don't ask. I even thought he just like rolled up in there and was just gonna like take it, but he's actually wrenching it. <laughs> Give him a whole packet of money. So that explains that. Yeah. So, I mean, I was kind of right in the fact that we said it was an enhancer, but just kind of like getting rid of his fear. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Um, in a way, kind of. So what does it enhance? It just makes him fearless. Is that not an enhancement? 
Ugh. Ay, jeez. That was chunky. Yeah, that was very chunky. This looked like clam was... chowder. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> but the fact that he was testing it on himself. Yeah. You literally could have died. Yeah, you could have gave him a bad formula. Mm, that's the one. Mm-hmm. Not that far off. <laughs> Freaking far bad. enough for you yeah. to have skin in the game. How does it feel to be fearless? Oh, we've done our job. That's where you but went wrong. But there's only one way to truly know. We need to test our concoction on Batman's most fearsome enemy. Mm-hmm. So that's how it got put in his head. Mm-hmm. So how did he die? Now we're gonna see this. He's right fucking there, Bruce. Stand down, please. Bruce, mm -hmm. I... Stand down. Bruce, listen to me. I'm not afraid of him. That makes sense. I'm not sense. afraid of anything anymore. Yeah. yeah. It's not about whether you're afraid or not. Fuck down! When the whistle blows, get the back of the cell. What's going on, Jojo? Joker killed Robin. Now shut the fuck up, psycho! Joker killed a Robin. So, can we get an explanation? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there was this coroner dude. Mm hmm. That we didn't see. Let's Ah, uh, so, the so there is a Lazarus pit right there, huh? Right under the police station. Yeah. Oh, sheesh. Jeez. Oh my God, his face get is beat, so. battered. Right under Arkham, or what? Or right under the police station, or somewhere. Yeah. Well, we no, don't know if it's right under the. Disappeared in the police station. Jeez, how the heck did they get a Lazarus pit down there in Gotham? That's what I want to know. Ah, Joker did okay. did one on him. Yeah. Bruce? No, no. There's no Batman here. The Joker. He, where am I? Bro, Arkham Asylum security is so trash. <laughs> yeah. They got a whole operation down there, bro. It doesn't help that he looks like a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he's high right now. What do you mean? Uh huh. He does look like a serial killer from the 70s, though. Mr. Susan, that even your friend Bruce Wayne didn't know about. Hey, Ra's al Ghul, you mentioned him. I cooked you up an extra special dose. Mm. Oh. Would you think about that just so I could kill you? No, there's definitely got to be something else in that. It's not just anti fear. He. Yeah, I don't know, but it's also too the Lazarus pit changes you. Yeah. It's like you never you never come back the same. Yeah. Everybody tell them how they they like Stoner Scarecrow. Hmm. Everyone talk everyone online was talking about how much they like Stoner Scarecrow. It's very interesting. Ah, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. We knew we had to go back. I knew, yeah, I knew you were gonna yeah. see him again. God, this scene is insane. Yeah. Ouch. Ooh. Ow. God, the anxiety. Just tell me what you want. Oh. I thought he would have showed his face before. Before he did it, you know, just to kind of get back. Oh no! And he killed her. Oh no! Ah, well, great, Jason. Really, not shocked, but come on, man. Great, she was your friend. Don't kill her. Diego. Oh. Don't be scared. She's one of the good ones. Okay, not killing her. I would never hurt you, Molly. Jason? Mm. Really? Not anymore. Look, I know this is fucking weird, so I won't be here long. The city owes us a lot. 
and I'm gonna collect the bill. Hmm. Jason. I don't know what you're doing, but you need help. You still trying to save me? Always. It's gonna get worse before it gets better, okay? Hmm. Okay. Bruh. So he actually, like, uh, some part of him is still in there. People that he cared for. Yeah. Wait, that's the end of the episode? Ah, oh, that was a really good episode, bro. Really good episode. Lots of stuff that we needed to see. Yeah. Lots of questions have been answered. Yeah. Ugh. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, that was that was really good. That was a really good episode. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a girl named Holly something mm. in the comic books that worked with Catwoman. Mm. And I think she became Catwoman at some point. Is that why you were asking if it was Holly? Yes, that's yeah. why I asked if you said Holly or Molly. No, it's because Molly. What made me tri what triggered me to think that is when Bruce said, "If she, if this girl likes cats, stay yeah. away from her." So, does she also go by the name Molly too? Hey, Holly. Does ho no, I'm saying does Holly go by the name Molly? Too? Let me look I it up real don't quick. No. Oh, let me see. Let me see real quick. Uh, yeah, Holly Robinson. Does she have a nickname? <laughs> no, it's just Holly. Yeah, so it's probably not. It's just a weird coincidence. Or, hold on, let me see. Let me see. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. It might be. It might not be. It's going to take some research. I could be tripping. Hmm. All right, whatever. Yeah, it might just be a whatever. coincidence, but. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they would mention that for no reason. She 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 looked like she could play Catwoman too. I don't know, maybe and there might be changing her name or something. And they know. showed the Catwoman, excuse me, Selena Kyle yeah. stuff right there. So I don't know. Maybe they changed the name. Did it pause? I don't. Wait, I don't, don't stop it because I know mine does that sometimes. It might still be going. I know mine does that sometimes. Mine does that sometimes, literally. Like, like okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God. No, I told you, mine does that sometimes. No, because mine has never done that, so I was just like, I yeah, didn't want no. it to like actually be stopped. And... Okay, yeah, it's, no, it's mine, still going. Mine so does fine. that sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe they're using the Holly Richardson character to be to play and change her name to Molly instead of Holly. Maybe because I know. Um. I think. I think I'm not still not sure, but um, in Star Girl, they changed Green Lantern's daughter's name. Yeah, they did. They I'm pretty did. sure because I've heard I heard them say Jade. I'm confident that it, that that they said Jenny though. That's the thing. But I feel like I've heard them say both. And everybody's been saying Jenny in the comments. Like I don't know. So I think they changed the name. It's, I know but, it as, as as Jade Scott. So yeah. So I I don't, I don't know. know, but um, it it is a possibility that they're just changing her name, or Maybe. if they could just have it as a coincidence. But I don't, I don't know. They got nah. I'm confident. I have a feeling, bro. Y'all go home be to it. I have a feeling that they're gonna try to set her up to be the next Catwoman. I have a really strong feeling that they are because. Look at the relationship she has with Jason, and then they show yeah. they show Catwoman stuff in this episode. Yeah, that was weird. We saw Harvey Dent's coin. Mm -hmm. We saw Joker's cards. Mm -hmm. We saw Scarecrow's uh, fear gas and the mask and his mask, which was really dope. And we saw Selena Kyle, and he mentioned if this girl likes cats, stay away from her. Yeah. Obviously, he's speaking from his own experience because he had an on and off weird relationship with Selena Kyle, too. Mm -hmm. So, like, they have been sexually involved and romantically involved on and off yeah. throughout the comic books. So, it's probably so, like. It might, it's probably something like that, to be honest. Yeah, I, I got, I had a strong feeling that that's what it might be. Somebody let me know in the comments if. If they do use the name Molly in the comic books for yeah. Catwoman 2.0. So let me know if I'm tripping about that. But what did you think about the episode as a whole? No, it, 
I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I did want to say earlier, but I didn't want to talk over it. It's kind of fitting that his first kill as Red Hood mm-hmm. was in a, like a carnival type setting. Because that's where he was killed. By Joker. No, I know what, what carnival setting. The guy with the, like, the flashing lights and everything. Those were like, they in a carnival setting? That looked like it was. It looked like they were like in a nightclub or something. It didn't look like a nightclub to me. It looks like one of those like fun houses. A fun house. Let me see. That was like somewhere around here. Maybe. And the thing that making me believe it is all the lights and everything. Maybe. It looks like one of those like weird fun houses. Maybe. Could be. You could be right. Because I think it would be fitting for Jason. Yeah, it looks just like a it looks like a warehouse. Okay, I might be wrong then. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but, I, couldn't, I couldn't really see, but that's what it reminded me of. So it could be the back of a fun house, like the like employee quarters yeah. or something. I don't know. It could be. Let, let's go with it. Let's go with it because it kind of does look like it. I, I don't. Thought, I don't know. I thought it would be a good idea. For it him, could be. They didn't, they didn't specify the location, so go for it. That's the whole point of these theories and stuff. And I can see where where you would think that because the yellow and the bluish kind of carnival looking yeah. kind of light. So I can see why you say that. Yeah. But yeah. No. Um. Definitely gave us a lot of answers though, which I was kind of confused by from the beginning. Yeah. So, but at least. It was just like literally this episode was just focused on Jason. And it's still it's pissing me off the fact that he was literally on the right track. And then life threw a wrench in his plan. If Bruce had only recommended that he went to the therapist just a little bit sooner. Matter of fact, if she didn't even have that picture of him. Yeah, none I think of this would have ever happened. She would never had that idea yeah. to reach out to him. That's so. that's the issue there. He was desperate for acceptance. Yeah. No, he no, he was desperate to get rid of his fear. Because he just wanted all of that to be over. Well, all of that all of that was coupled in too with just acceptance too, because he was I mean, I guess it's fear too, because the fear he also had the fear of not being accepted by Batman or not being good enough. So I guess Yeah. Fear has a lot to do with it too. And I feel like Bruce saying like oh, like calling him his son, like kind of started to alleviate that Excuse so me. yeah like he was really on the right track you know he was gonna get his life together and you know his mental stability in check and then the picture just had to be there bruce kind of triggering him in a way but which is, which is weird because which is why he literally honestly didn't even defend himself at the end because before right before Jason before Jason died, we already know he was thinking about a replacement. Right. So those replacement files, so I I can see now like all those accusations and stuff, they didn't know the whole story behind it. Like mm-hmm. Barbara was accusing him of calling him a bunch of mean names and stuff. Oh, now you did the same thing to Jason. He benched him. He was trying to take him out of the life. Yeah. He wasn't kicking him out of Wayne Manor. He wasn't kicking him out of being no, in his like, life. He was just like, Don't you know, I don't yeah. think, I don't think this is good for you. Yeah. Like. He was actually, like, concerned about him as a person. Yeah. And not just him as a sidekick. As a sidekick. And he was like, which is true, he's like, some people can handle the pressure. Mm-hmm. Some people can't. Dick, Dick always had the capabilities to control himself. It's just that when he went dark, he went dark. Right. Right. And, like, Bruce obviously would have a certain connection with him because that was his first Robin, the first kid he actually took in his house. Right. Like, you know, it's like, it's like a parent, I don't know, it's like a parent, parents say they don't have favorites, but it's true. No, they always have they favorites. Have fav- they have favorites. Like, they care about all their kids, but they always look out for their eldest one. Yeah, they're always going to have a special place for their first For their first child, because it's their first child. It's yeah. not that they don't care about the other ones. So it's like, and then, you know, Tim Drake coming in. When t- I want to see how they bring Tim Drake into this. I wonder right. if they're actually going to bring Batman back. Because we did see um, 
set pictures where it was like on a they were like on a plane. Plane, yeah. So I, mean, I know I know he's gonna get involved. Yeah, what it is, but like what I understand is if is he gonna be Robin or is he gonna be is he gonna be Red Robin? <laughs> so that's what I want to know. Is he gonna just jump straight into the Red Robin phase, which kind of yeah. suck because I would love to see him as you know his, his take on Robin because he 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 was the better of he was the better of um I would say of all the Robins I think he would he was probably the most stable one <laughs> to be honest just because of like his brain his wit like he always thought before he always thought about things before he made a move like yeah no I don't know too super much super smart kid yeah I don't know too much about like Tim Drake but just from what I've seen with Jason and Dick they both got like hella mental trauma Let's not forget Damien. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's not forget Damien. Okay, well, Damien's not a thing yet. Not yet, but... <laughs> Damien's not I don't not think we'll ever yet. see Damien in this show. Probably not in this show. No. Nah, because he would have to... What, what, what is Bruce doing having kids at this age? Right? <laughs> right? Like, a too late who is he having while. kids with at this point? Shoot, man. <laughs> nope. Not not to Leo Gu. That's that's for, that's for sure. Not at that age. Yeah. Uh uh-uh. uh. Because when he had Damien, he was younger. So. Yeah. So I, definitely not. But yeah. um, no. Dick and Jason just have like a whole bunch of mental trauma. And like from what I've seen with um, Tim so far, you know he has his parents. You know he has a support system. So. Somewhat stable family. Yeah. Positive outlook on life. Right. Like even if they're not like living in like the best conditions they're still doing well, we don't even thing. know they live in conditions well, I mean, though, because like i'm saying because they live in gotham that's okay, the only well, reason true. i'm saying that okay that's true fair gotham that gotham yeah. isn't the best living system. right but then there's also the suburbs of gotham gotham where like yeah. bruce lives right but i don't think they're living in the suburbs of nah. gotham from where their store is located so. his, in, his, his comic book uh, counterpart had money yeah I came from a family that had money. Right, you know, you didn't tell me that, but so, this one different take on it. So. His re- his redeeming his redeeming trait. I hope they utilize this or show it in the show somewhat. His redeeming trait is that he has a super high IQ. Mm-hmm. I think like one in the one forties, like genius level intellect. Yeah, and like he's a super great detective, and he's. Some people th- say think he's a little better than Batman when it comes to detective work. Hmm. So those are like his redeeming qualities: being like a really good detective, being like super smart, always mm-hmm. thinking. Of course, he could fight, but like very tactical kind of dude. Very kind of like you know. So I I, I want to see how they're going to utilize him and how they're going to bring him into the whole thing. It'd be nice to see these interactions with yeah. Bruce. So what I was where I was getting at with that with my whole thing was that. He was already obviously looking for a replacement because uh, still part of him kind of still, you know, part of him needs Robin. Right. Just because, you know, this is, it's literally his echo chamber. Like, it's literally just a part of. We talked about that. He's scared of being alone. Yeah, he's scared of being alone. Oh. And he, his way of helping kids is by giving them the ability to. I don't know, not only defend themselves, but to have a, pur- make them feel like they have a purpose, but it also helps him out too. Right. Because he needs a sidekick, he needs help, and it, you it's know. kind of a win-win situation. Yeah, and it's like, that's the only way he knows how to deal with his pain of, of his parents, and which he's never truly 100% dealt with. Mm-hmm. And I don't think you can ever really deal with that, especially if you've seen your parents murdered in front of you at right. that young. That's you know? never going to go away, and no matter. And losing Alfred too, like. Yeah. Alfred used to hold him down. Like every time he made, every time he, he made, a, he was making a, a mistake. Like I was um, reading uh, Batman: Death in the Family not too long ago, like maybe a week ago, like that, like last week I was reading it. And like even in that comic book, like when he was having issues with Jason, like he was like, oh, um, he went straight to Alfred. He was like, I don't know what to do with him. Like I don't know what to do. And he would like kind of con- you know console him and like. Now, Alfred was like his parent. Was like yeah, pretty yeah. much his parent. He was his parent. Like we said, his parent, his accountant. His tea maker, yep. um, his car washer dude, his like chef, his chef, his, his maid. therapist, his maid. Well, no, everything. he has a therapist. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He has a therapist, mm. huh? <laughs> On what kind of therapy they would? Do. Yeah, right. <laughs> was it? Was, Man, it, was, it, was it physical some... therapy? 
<laughs> that couch though would be pretty damn comfy. Not gonna lie. Ah, <laughs> oh, Bruce, you slide dog. Anyways, I mean, yeah. she just trying to repay the favor, you know. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man, so, yeah, no, was, she was getting some therapy of her own. <laughs> <She's, she's, she's, laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I was I was told that there was gonna be like a Jason centered episode from you uh-huh. know people who've already seen these episodes ahead of time, and um, so I'm glad we got it. Theory: What if Jason was seeing Donna because she had also gone mm. to the Lazarus Pit? Because that was a dream. Yes, that's a good thing. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah. What if he was seeing her because she wasn't a Lazarus Pit yeah. as well? Hmm. Do they just have like Lazarus, like just a, a, a like an app on your phone to find your local Lazarus? Find pit. a Lazarus. Find a Lazarus Pit. Like, <laughs> I, I think he briefly explained it. Hold on, I needed to hear that again before I made a comment about it. He when he was talking about the Lazarus Pit, he mentioned Rachel Ghoul, but I I think either you or I said something. When he's yeah. like right before then, I didn't get to hear exactly what he said. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. So that explains. So, okay, yeah. So, uh, Rachel Ghoul, he left. He basically just left a little Lazarus pit in Gotham. So, and that's interesting. So why do they have one in Themyscira if that's the case? Why not, dude? Okay, you don't know much. You I don't thought know there much would only about... be one Lazarus pit. Now that he said that, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I've read him having multiple ones in different places. Mm. Don't quote me on that. Can you just what do you just make a Lazarus pit? Don't like, quote me on that. That's like making potions when you're a kid or something. <laughs> like Look, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all let me know in the comments. There might have been other ones all over the place. God, trust me, there's so many comic book characters to keep track of. I got, I have so many books in my room that I've read all through, maybe only once, and I don't remember every single thing. All well, the, that's I, why we have experts in the comments. Yes, that's why we have, expert, yes, that's why we have experts in the comments. So, you know what I do like though? I like experts in the comments that are actually helpful, right? And not, and not the judgy like, ones that be like, "I can't believe you don't." I know can't this. believe you don't know that Ra's al Ghul had a Lazarus pet in Gotham. You're such a fake fan, Matthew. But then there's like the other ones that are like, oh, you didn't know? Okay, but you know well, what I so love and so too. and so. I love when they do that and then they follow it up with a fact or a fact that's not actually a fact. Like, did you know that he's actually like 32 and like he's like not 32? Or yeah. Something? But like, it's just like stupid stuff like that. Like, <laughs> I don't even respond to those. I used to respond to those comments. Yeah, I, don't so I don't even respond to them anymore just because it's like, it's bro, <laughs> my, my, my whole thing is like, I'm about to get in a rant anyway. About to end this. <laughs> but like, the best way to treat some, you know, ignorance, like if somebody doesn't know something, don't shame them for yeah, it. Like if you're friends, like, yeah, inform. Like if you're friends with them and you like make a joke at them or you harass them, like, like if Shan says, doesn't say if she says she hasn't seen a Sam Raimi film, she got so, she got a couple of heat for her. yeah a little bit, but she says she didn't see the Sam Raimi films, and I'm like, what you didn't see them, man? Fake fan, like that's a yeah. joke, right? Like that's a joke, but then like you know nobody takes it serious, but like some people take it mad serious, and then they yeah. be like in the comments, they be like, man, bro, you, bro, you, yo, you, all you do, I remember, I remember this one guy, he said this, he was like, bro, all you do is watch superhero stuff. How do you not know this? Dude, you're such a horrible um comic book reactor. And I'm just there chilling like <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, sorry oh, I don't damn. know everything. <laughs> That's literally what I said. Like, I'm sorry I don't know everything. I'm like, uh he had a Shizui uh picture on his um mm-hmm. thing though. Not, I was like, but not Shizui picture though. Like a lot of people don't know who Shizui is. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, that that just, there was, you know, if somebody don't know something like if i make a vocal slip up or if i don't know about it just let you know let, let a brother know like educate me it's a lot yeah. of you guys do yeah a lot, lot of y'all do it most of my people on my channel too like especially because i don't really know much about dc in general just like stuff i've recently watched so they'll be like oh by the way this is who this person is like i'm a young justice reaction yeah i didn't know who like some of the um the ice villains were and they're like oh this this is these are these people yeah mr freeze yeah. captain cole sub-zero but like so yeah i mean like just, just, just remind a brother 
you know what I mean? Just let him know, like, oh, okay, oh, you didn't know this. All right, well, this is so and so and so. Maybe yeah. read, and I've had people like read, you know, read this comic book or read this if you want to know more about this character and yada yada. Yeah. And I have taken those advice. I have taken that those advice too. Uh, yeah, though. we respond better to that. Than, yeah, I can't just, believe you don't know about this person. Yeah. But, anyways, guys, I'm looking at the time. We gotta end this. We gotta end this. But it was a great episode. Yes. Uh, back of the episode it was great loved it loved the backstory loved much, seeing much needed much needed yes it was explained because i was very curious as to how they were going to do it yeah um and i like how i think i actually like how they handled it yeah you know i like how they handled it so um it was really cool seeing their interpretation of the lazarus pit we've seen it in the Arrowverse. i won't say where or how it shows up because i know you're watching that stuff it. Arrowverse, huh so what is it doing in the Arrowverse? i i, I could explain it because it it, it, it makes sense and has a very good reasoning behind it and so why that works um man do you want to know a show sure arrow i haven't seen it so so just th- if you think about arrow honestly, it would make a lot of sense how to that was actually one of my favorite arcs honestly show, yeah. i've i've been so put off by arrow just because of how many spoilers i've seen from flash I'm like, I already know who this person's going to end up being anyway, so what's the point? La- Lazarus Pitt's stuff in Arrow, I won't get into it, was actually some of my favorite things that I, in the show. No, I can I see it making sense because of the darker nature of it. Yeah, and they kind of go more into it and the whole world surrounding it and all that stuff. I don't want to talk too much about right, it, right. but because for your sake. But, yeah. But anyways, it was nice seeing their, their interpretation of Lazarus Pitt in the show. It was pretty cool. And I want to see how much more of a of a villain Scarecrow is going to be. We're seeing that Jason literally has no fear and he has no... Um, no moral no compulsion. Mor- well, just, no, he, he just feels numb. Yeah. Obviously, he has some type of moral still left Molly. because Molly. Yeah. You know, so he's obviously seen the care. Right. So, um, you know, he brought back Diego and he didn't even harm her. So he might be I, the only one. He does care about yeah because she genuinely cares about him it right. was not like like she views him as a charity case right it was never that it was never that like she genuinely cares about him yeah so that's probably why he you know wouldn't harm her because she he knows that she genuinely cares yeah, about him it's regardless. not like fake or anything yeah exactly so with bruce it was just like oh you don't think i'm good enough right okay and then with rose obviously it was like man i like let like I left, I've bled my heart out, whatever. Yeah. And you just take advantage of me, and then right. everybody else was babying him, and I trust. So it was all just a big pile, it's pile up of. A just, big setup. <laughs> yeah. So I understand why he was more susceptible to this. Yeah. So, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you, if you made it all the way to the end, you didn't watch part one. Just uh, put the comment section down below. I mean, the description box down below to watch. Or the comment section. Well, yeah, he's in part there, one's too. Down there too. Um, to watch part one of this. And then, uh, yeah, subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Clockmaster and... Cosmic Banks.